So I'm using my KitchenAid uh, mixer today. I've got the dough hook on it, pastry hook, whatever they call it. All right, so I'm gonna put some yeast in there. Uh, it's two teaspoons, two and a quarter teaspoons, okay? So it's a packet. And I keep my yeast in the freezer, so it's gonna take a little while to, to uh, proof it a little bit. And I'm gonna put a tablespoon of honey instead of sugar. And a cup of warm water, about 110 degrees, like baby's milk warm, okay? So you can use your handheld thermometer and just see if it's 110 degrees. All right, so we're gonna let that proof a little bit here, probably about 15 minutes. It's gonna bubble up and then we'll go from there. So I'll see you when it's done. So that 15 minutes, you can see it's all bubbled up there. It's exactly what you want. All right, let's start making the dough. Well, let me put this up so you can see what I'm doing here. I've got four cups of all-purpose flour plus six tablespoons. So four cups and six tablespoons of flour. And I'm gonna mix this as I go, but I'm gonna mix it for a long time after it's all in it. Okay, a third cup of warm water, same temperature, 110 degrees. I'll have that recipe down below you guys. One teaspoon and a quarter teaspoon, so one and a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. Say, I've got two tablespoons of honey. Local honey is the best honey. Helps your immune system. Okay. I'm gonna put some uh, vinegar, half a teaspoon of uh, white vinegar. And two tablespoons of melted unsalted butter, okay? All right. So I'm gonna mix this on low until all the flour is not on the edge of the bowl. And then I'm gonna put it on a higher speed for about 10 minutes. It's gonna need for about 10 minutes, okay? So I'll see you when I get done. It's about 10 minutes. We're going to do this with that. I'm going to take it out of here for a minute. It's on my weird, weird angle here. Shape it in a ball. All right. And I'm going to oil this. Actually, I don't need this anymore. Let me take this out of there. Oil this up a little bit. Some olive oil. Alright, flip it over so the seam's under there. Come on, I'm out of oil here. Here we go. Alright, so I'm going to cover this with plastic and I'll put it in a warm place and I'll let it rise for about an hour, okay? I'll see you in an hour. It's been an hour. Alright, let me get my stuff ready here. I'm going to use the flat pan by Dalongi. All right, I don't have a bread pan that will fit in there. I never invested in one because I just, I just didn't. But I do have these. I got those at the Dollar Tree. They're eight and a half inches or so, and they fit perfect in there. It's not exactly a bread pan. They do sell bread pans, but I never got any. So, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. So let me get this ready. I'm gonna butter this up. Okay. So I think I'm going to look on Amazon for a bread pan that will fit in here So I, if this works. I'm going to try it. If it works, I'm going to get the pan. And this is for BLT, so it really doesn't matter how it shaped me. All right. Let me put that there. All right, let me flour my surface a little bit here. I'm going to flatten this out. And you could you could bake this this bread right straight in the pan, but I just didn't want to have a, like a what's it called sourdough side size. So it's double in size. Just make sure, okay? All right, just flatten it out. Beautiful dough. Okay, so it's a little bit like 
this, roll it up, tuck the sides in, pinch and tuck, pinch and tuck. Okay, see that? All right, I'm gonna put that in the air fryer and I'm gonna close it up and let it rise for, let it sit in the pan for about an hour. 45 minutes, I'm gonna call it quits because look at this beautifulness. I poked it a little bit just to see if it bounced back and it does. I've got about two inches from the burner, so that's about two, three inches from there. So we're good to go. Let's turn the bottom on and the top one. Let's not go too high because it's so close to the burner. I'm gonna start with a three and when it starts getting crusty and golden on the top, I'll turn it down, but I'll let you know when that happens. Okay, we're gonna try to cook it for 45 minutes. It could be less, I'll let you know. Hey guys, 45 minutes. <laughs> Listen, if it sounds like it's hollow, we'll get her done. All right, so I'm going to let it cool. We're going to cut it up and taste it. Also, I turned it down to two and a half. Okay, three was getting it brown too fast, but that's beautiful right there. And rotated a couple times, you know, because it cooks a little bit more on that side sometimes. I only had to do that like twice, so I'll be back. Okay, is that not beautiful or what? The bottom yes the longy bottom burner beautiful so it's still warm but i'm gonna put some butter on it i'm gonna try it out but let's cut it open and see what it looks like try to do this so you guys can see it's got a nice crust on the outside oh <gasps> yes it's beautiful very thick it's very nice wow oh my lord Still very hot. My friend made me this cutting board and I just don't want to hurt it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Give it a try. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna take a picture and then I will taste it. Here we go, look at that. It's so awesome. So awesome. Didn't have to preheat no oven. Don't have to heat up the whole house. Here we go. Mmm. Delicious. So delicious. All right. Well, there we go. We conquered that one. Bread. That pan worked out beautifully. So awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for shopping. Bye-bye.